Now hold up before you get your panties in a wad here. All I'm trying to do is point out that Chase Sexton races Jet Lawrence different than other riders. You would think for somebody that was teammates and got beat and let that man get away with a perfect season, they wouldn't be chummy and they wouldn't be buddies. But it doesn't look that way. At Daytona, Weege, the announcer, even pointed out that they were being awfully buddy-buddy after the race. There's other examples of this that I'm going to show you. At least one. Uh, I don't know. This, this is anything other than subjective recognition of what is actually occurring. Uh, I've noticed it. Other people have noticed it. He's let them by for sure on one other occasion. And he's raced Eli pretty rough. So I just want to show you what I found. I did, went through the seasons. I didn't even go through all the heat races. And to be honest, from what I saw, Jet and Chase usually aren't in the same heat race that I could see. Could have missed one or two. But uh, I think it's pretty fair what I'm showing here. Um, and as for the last video, they broke the rules. Okay? Clearly broke the rules. Only one mechanic's supposed to be up there, and they're supposed to be gone by the time that board goes up and the engines come on. They're not supposed to be around. As you can clearly see, coming up on another angle, both mechanics touch the bike at the same time, and one of the officials rips them away. I'm just saying they broke the rules by trying to be a damn F1 team. That's all I'm saying. They tried to get the ultimate advantage for somebody supposedly that is so good, he shouldn't need the advantage. Subjectively, think about it. So they tried to be an F1 team and they screwed up. And it should cost them, regardless of who it is. And all you Australian people, just calm down, put your pants back on, and all that stuff that you talk, realize that Jet doesn't need this advantage and the rules are clearly broken and you guys clearly are showing me in the comments that <laughs> most of them I deleted because they're, they're stupid not, not gonna lie first time I've ever deleted comments you guys are just I don't know if I didn't delete YouTube was gonna delete them anyway half of you guys are, are cussing and just trying to mumble together a few words um, not very many have exceeded in any logical thought so I'll leave you with that if you want to watch the video, watch it. I don't care, man. I don't get paid. I don't, I don't monetize my channel, man. That's why I say what I want to say, mate. All right, mate? Oh, would you look at this? We're about to see two Honda mechanics buck-fucking the tire warmer right there. And the official said, get off of it because it's not legal. And they, and they still know. What'd you do? Oh, what, what is this here? Margin of victory, 5.88 nine seconds oh Tom exit second huh second place uh, 35 winners average lifetime 135 yeah he's just old and wash man Sexton just stops forward momentum doesn't even try to avoid cut jet off back no he just Kind of lets him go, but uh, he'll fight Eli. Sit here and watch it. Life or death to stay in front of Eli. Couldn't possibly twist the throttle any harder. On a track like this, you can block a guy for a couple of laps. You give him plenty of time. <laughs> He just missed his front wheel. Oh, really, James? Glad we agree. He he was he tried to run him high there. That's why he made a mistake. Hold up. Look at the angle of his wheel here. He's heading towards him right now. 
Still, he and then he realizes that's not a good idea, and he's gonna crash. Almost crashes. And for all you people saying he got beat by like 20 seconds, you're wrong. Five seconds. Okay, watch him go to the inside. Definitely thinks about pushing somebody wide, but decides maybe it's best against it. Where's he at right here? See how close they are? Leaves Jet plenty of room. Okay, Sexton gets back by. See how long it takes Jet to get back around Sexton. Right here you see uh, that Jet is in front of Sexton. They're so bad at the broadcast and they miss all the passes. We'll see if we can catch it. Ha! I caught it. Look, he went all the way wide. You can see his roost up there in the side. See that? He went all the way wide and let Jack cut in inside. Yep. One, two, three, four, four seconds. That was them because of the gear. Look at it. Another example here that uh, Chase isn't afraid to throw it in on anybody else besides Jet Lawrence. Another example, Chase will ride anybody else aggressive. Just not Jet. And you think maybe maybe Chase didn't let, you know, Lawrence by, but it took him literally a lap to get around Sexton, and it's going to take him quite a while to get around Vince Freeze. Now, I know it's Freeze, but my point is, if Vince Freeze can hold the jet off, why can't Sexton hold the jet off? Or does he not want to? Let me fast forward. Fast forward again. Ten second jumps here. Still behind him. Makes a mistake. Still behind Freeze. This is a lap later, by the way. Finally gets him. Two laps to get around Vince Freeze. Chase and Jet are right next to each other in the heat race. Jet gets a little jump, and then Sexton just backs completely off. Doesn't push it. Doesn't cut up on the inside. Leaves him plenty of room. Still not pushing him. Notice uh, Chase isn't taking inside lines to worry about Jet. Mid in that corner. And there goes Sexton, I mean Jet around Sexton. Watch this start and watch Sexton dive. Now he stops, he pushes wide, goes to Tomac, backs off. Don't want to get near Jet, but he'll run right up there on Eli. Watch him, cuts him off, runs him high. Is he going after Jet? Is he pushing forward? We'll find out here in a second. Looks like he kind of just let him go right there, if you ask me. Looks like he already gave up. As you see uh, Chase pull up there, they have themselves a nice, nice long tuck. Looks pretty chummy to me. I just want to point out also, 
that it took Jet more than over half the race. There's literally five minutes left to even catch Plessinger and then have Sexton let him by. So, all right, this is going to be an example of uh, how differently Sexton races Tomac. Pulls him real tight, almost takes out his foot right there. And pushes him wide. Watch this right here. He tried to cut, he almost all the way up on the inside right here. Almost went right into him. Took Chisholm out. So he's willing to take people out and push people and take out their feet. Watch this, he makes a, st a mistake right here. Blows it deep, slows down to try to stop Eli from passing him. And he's still trying, he's trying so hard to get back in front of him right now. Tries to hit another inside. Okay, they cut away here, and you can't see it. But Chase goes up the inside and cuts Tomac off. Notice Tomac's caught back up to Sexton. Chase stuffs Prado high in the corner. I mean, it's racing, but I'm just pointing out how he races other people and how he races Jet Lawrence. 